Well, now Joe Esterhaus is joining us exclusively. Joe Esterhaus, good morning to you. Good morning. What was, in your view, the most egregious episode that you say you witnessed? Well, the, the most egregious episode had to do with my 15-year-old son, Nick, who was with us in Costa Rica as Mel's guest. And Mel shared with him a pornographic scenario that I could only call sexual butchery that, that he fantasized in terms of Oksana. Nick is 15 years old, and to put this kind of imagery into a 15-year-old boy's head, I think it's heinous, I think it's vile, and I think it's unforgivable. Um, and, you know, I wondered, I, in my letter I said to him, would you tell your own sons this kind of thing and pollute their heads? Um, and it, that's the most egregious thing that I, that I heard. Well, if this is true, why would you stick it out and, and finish a screenplay with a man well, I didn't who have would anything. have said such a thing, in your view, in your, in your story? to your 15-year-old son. I didn't have anything to do with Mel personally since that incident. We were supposed to spend, we were supposed to go on his plane to his house in Malibu afterwards. I canceled those plans because I didn't want my wife and my son around him. Um, the, and I never saw him and I never spoke to him after that. The script is a different matter. Um, I had a contract to do the script. I was very excited about doing the script because it's a wonderful story. A truly inspiring story of glorious Jewish heroism. Um, I'd written two scripts about anti-Semitism, Betrayed a Music Box. And I'd also gone through a spiritual conversion in 2001. And when the notion of doing a biblical piece about Jewish heroism was suggested to me, I jumped at it. Um, I have my background is one of the reasons I did. My dad in the early 90s was accused of having committed war crimes in Hungary during World War II. Mm -hmm. And while he wasn't deported or prosecuted, to me, it was obvious that the OSI's, many of the OSI's charges were accurate. So in terms of sins of the fathers, I've tried to work very hard to atone for his sins and to tell the story of the Maccabees in this glorious way, this triumphant way I jumped at. Um, one of the first red lights that I got that, that really put me off is Mel said to me that he wanted to do a movie, and this was after we had contracted it and done, done the, the Warner Brothers deal. He wanted to do a movie that would convert the Jews to Christianity. That's not the Maccabees. The Maccabees is a, is, it truly is a Jewish Braveheart. The piece I wrote is a Jewish Braveheart, and I'm proud of it. And that's why I asked in the letter for him to give it back to me. Joe, Joe, you know, this is really becoming a he said, he said situation. What proof do you have? Because so far you're the only source for this information that, that Mel Gibson well, I, had I, these I rants be, and would, said these things. What proof do you have? I would be happy. I would be happy to answer that. I have a tape that my 15-year-old son made in the, in the middle of a violent harangue in Costa Rica, threatening harangue where he said the vilest and most threatening things. He had his, Nick hit his iPod because he was frightened about what was going to happen. There are also witnesses. You know, the, there are witnesses. There were other people in Costa Rica with us. My wife was there. Um, the, the, the house manager was there. The situation in Costa Rica was so bad that the help said to their kids, get out of the house and hide because he was so out of control. My son Nick wound up snatching a butcher knife from the kitchen and sleeping with it under his pillow because he was so frightened. You know, you know, as we just heard in Amy Robach's report, that uh, Mel Gibson released a statement. He's called everything you've said utter fabrications, and he's called your script substandard. substandard. Um, are, are you planning to release this videotape that you say you have that, uh, that is proof of what you're alleging? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with the videotape. I'll tell you this. In his response to me, he said these were utter fabrications. And two paragraphs later, he apologized and said, I want to make a clear apology. If these are fabrications, what is he apologizing for? I don't like to be called a liar, you know, and I'm not the first person who has described this kind of behavior. Other people have seen it. This particular behavior in terms of the threats to Oksana, especially, I think is really threatening. So why are you going public? Why are you on television this morning making this letter I didn't, public? I didn't go. 
I didn't go public. The, 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 somehow, the, the, the internet organ called The Rap found my letter. Mm. Um, and then Mel denied it. And I'm not going to stand for people calling me a liar, so I'm here. All right. Well, Joe Esterhaus, with a lot to say this morning, we appreciate your taking this time. I know it's very early where you are, so thank you for joining us.